Hi friends. If you're familiar with my videos, then welcome back. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Shauna Faye. Today I'm gonna to be doing a body paint, get ready with me style video. And it's not gonna be an in-depth tutorial, but if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing throughout the video, then please let me know in the comments below. I'll be super happy to answer your questions. I wanna say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed and you like me and you like my videos, then I do encourage you to hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see when I'm uploading my next video, best way to do that is hitting that notification bell. I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this brown, just simple wet and wild pencil. I'm gonna be doing the room that had the clouds and the different shapes and there's like a fence. I'm gonna be putting the shapes on my face and I'm gonna be putting the fence on my neck. I'm gonna now go over everything with a white face paint. I'm gonna use Maron White and I'm gonna use this awesome Kabuki brush. This is a brush that I got from paintertainment.com. I am just kind of swirling the brush around and then kind of pouncing it on. It smells so good. If I'm going over any areas that already have paint, I am kind of doing this like buffing, stippling motion in order not to move the paint underneath. I'm also doing that on top of anywhere I have a sketch laid down. So now I'm gonna kind of mix up my own color using these two Makeup a Murder Poison Pigments. These are the pastel versions. I'm gonna apply this with this Morphe M441 brush. And I'm just gonna be creating kind of a soft, cloudy texture. And I really wanna make sure that a lot of white is showing. So I'm gonna go pretty light with this. And next, I'm gonna go in with some Tag Light Blue and this medium blending brush. Oopsie. I did not realize that I wasn't recording, but I just added some clouds using this Kabuki brush in a really dry consistency. I'm about to outline these clouds, but I decided I really want to neutralize them a little bit more. I'm just buffing out this blue and kind of making it a little bit lighter with just a little bit of white paint. I'm not activating it. So now I'm going to be going in with some Tag Neon Blue and I'm going to use this number three Blazin brush. I'm going to try to purposefully make this a dry consistency um, so that it looks like a child did it. I love it. I am going to add one more cloud to my face because there's a big gap right here. I'm just adding a little bit more blue to some of these clouds. I'm gonna go in with the shapes. This is a, a very small angled brush from Bolt Brushes by Just Paint. This is some global dark green, and this is what I'm gonna use for this circle. I'm just gonna take my brush and go in with it, just only just damp. By the way, I'm using a number four Leo Cornell. Uh, they don't make these anymore, but they make uh, King Art brushes. I can link those. 
So yeah, I'm just kind of removing some paint with this damp brush. And then I'll go back in with some of that Maron white. And I can blend this white into the base so it's not so bright. I think for the next shape, I'm just going to go ahead and use this brush. I think it'll be easier just to freehand. Now I'm going to go in with some global red. I'm going to use Maron Mango. Next, I'm going to use Global Fresh Blue, and I'm just going to take it out of a split cake that I made. I'm just going to clean up the inside of this umbrella really fast. I used Wolf White, really strong waxy white in the center here. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the centers of all the other shapes. So now I'm going to fill in the fence. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I could always add another green one, but I think that I think that's fine. I'm just going to connect everything with two straight lines. It looks like a little choker. In order to outline these shapes, I'm going to make a kind of dark gray. So I'm just going to use this palette that has some superstar white and some tag black. I'm just going to mix a little bit of white with the black. Now I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. I'm going to rinse this brush and just use it damp, just barely damp. I don't want this to be too wet, otherwise it'll move the base. I'm just going to drag out that gray just a little bit. I'm going to do the shading on the shapes on my face. So if my light source is coming from here, the light would hit here and also here. Um, so the shadow is going to be on the opposite side of that. So the light would be here, shadow is going to be here. I'm going to do a very quick um, highlight. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of white with each color that I already laid down. I'll talk a little bit about um, Squid Game since I'm doing a makeup inspired by it. I, I did like it. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna fix up some of the creasing that I have. I'm just gonna remove some paint. I'm gonna use my P. Louise base in the color Rumor Zero and I'm gonna pack that on with this E25 brush from ColourPop. I'm just going to remove just a little bit of the white from under my eyes. With a ColourPop E23 brush and my Morphe Lisa Frank 35B, I'm going to use the white shade. Now I'm going to make my eyelashes white. I'm going to use this ColourPop Volumizing Mascara in Teal. 
This is just drugstore wet and wild. I'm gonna go in with some white paint and I'm just gonna paint over my eyelashes. Now that I'm looking a little creepy, I'm gonna use this sugar pill liquid lip color in the color Lala. Over top of that, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this lip oil from CAV or KAV in the color Juicy Melon. I'm just gonna just define my crease just a little bit. I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, that was it for this Squid Game body paint to get ready with me video. I hope that you guys like this type of video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you did like it, then go ahead and hit that like button. And of course, if you like my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.